What's going on my friends? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys some cool and useful methods for creating glowing animations like the blotter media video clip that recently went viral. I'm actually happy to see that a lot of people were giving the editor credit within that. On the screen now I'm going to show you guys some of these cool animations. The artist mainly edits these dancing videos which gives them a lot of room for all these cool creative things to do with these glowing animations and there's a lot more that really goes into this than just the method on how to do it. Like I said I'm going to show you how you can create those glowing animations and it's very simple but but the real meat and potatoes behind creating really great looking glowing animations is having a great knowledge of how animation works plus having a lot of creativity whenever you're working on it in post let me preface this video by saying there is a method for creating these land animations within premiere all you need to do is use that kind of graphics thing and then just draw lines in my opinion it doesn't work that well but if you do have premiere and not after effects this could be a good method for you if you do want to add the glow on top of that I recommend you either use any glow plugin for premiere or you can use my glow Glow preset that's available on my website mediamonopoly.co. I've already made a video before on line animation so in this video I want to be sure to show you guys a bunch of stuff I haven't talked about different ways to create the animations tracking the animations applying different effects onto these animations and different methods on how to create them as a whole so first off let's go ahead and right click our clip and replace it with After Effects composition so we can get to work on this in After Effects all right so let me go ahead and show you the traditional way I've been doing these line animations myself one thing that I want to say is a huge key part to making these really look good and having this kind of creative starting point to work off of having footage that has a lot of motion so obviously in these clips there's a bunch of dance movements there's a bunch of things kind of being expressed through the dance movements it has a decent amount of movement so it's going to work way better than a shot that has zero movement that's just shot on a tripod so first steps first, what we're going to do, I'm going to double click on this clip until this goes from composition to layer. If this still says the composition, just double click it again until you are in the actual layer for this clip. Just go up to this little brush tool. You want to find your brush window as well as your paint window. In your paint window, you can change the color of the brush that you want. I'm just going to stick with white for now, as well as you can select whatever size of brush. I like to go with a hard rounded brush, something around five, nine or 13 for the size. And then another big key to this that messes up a lot of people, whenever you are in this paint window, you wanna make sure that your duration is on single frame, not on constant as the default. If it's on constant, as we move along, it's going to just stay like that. If you put it on single frame, let's go ahead and draw something, move a frame, draw something, move a frame. You're gonna see that's how we really get that line drawn animation. So let me go ahead and start drawing some stuff and just give you guys a little bit of a basis. Another huge tip is make sure you're clicking the page up and page down keys on your keyboard to move frame by frame. Whenever I first started out, I would move this draw something and move this. This sucks up so much time, so make sure you're using those little shortcuts, page up and page down. One thing that's pretty common is people like to draw in these glowing eyes. Let's go ahead and just click page down and just do that a few times just so you guys can see what it looks like. So here's what that is looking like pretty quick so if you want this really quick line drawn animation that's the way to go let me give you another example let's try and make some lines kind of weave around his body so i'll draw it like this and then i'll just go page down i'm doing everything really quick but keep in mind if you want it to look really good the key is the key is to take your time and pay attention to detail so that doesn't look too good it's just kind of all these choppy lines flying around your screen if you want it to look a little bit more smooth and in my opinion i think it's easier for the viewer to actually um, take in what's going on this way so if i want to have the lines weaving around my subject i'll draw a line page down and i'll draw the same thing and i'll just keep repeating that so draw a line draw it again and then every two frames you're just drawing the same exact thing now let's go ahead and play that and as you see it's not as kind of choppy and thrown on the screen it just sticks there a little bit longer so you can really understand what's going on that's a quick little basic trick that should help your animation now let's go ahead and make these glow which is a huge part of doing this so it's actually very simple all you need to do is go over to your effects and presets and then just drop a glow effect on there it's very self-explanatory if you have any of the sapphire glow or red giant third-party plug-in glows those usually work best i like doing that but the normal built-in after effects glow works completely fine you just need to know how to kind of finesse it a little bit so as you see this looks super ugly to start with but if we just go over to our effect controls and mess with our settings it's going to bump up the glow radius already looking better and then the intensity now the only issue with this is it's affecting the glow of our entire scene you guys are seeing 
here. The glowing looks great. Keep in mind, it's always going to look better at low light or with colors like white or maybe kind of like cyan that are more light colored, have more highlights. That's always going to make the glowing look better. For example, if I made my color of my lines dark purple, you're not going to get that glow. Now, if you don't want the outside of the scene to be glowing, you only want the lines to be glowing. Here's a nice workaround of this animation method, and then I'm going to show you some other cool stuff afterwards. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my footage and on my beginning base layer i'm going to go ahead and just delete the glow off of that but the glow goes away completely let's just go back to our composition so we have our glow on our top layer and what you need to do it's very easy just go ahead and select your pen tool and just make a little mask over the area that you want the glow to be happening in and i have it on i have my mask on add you can also open up your mask options and just feather it a bit you kind of get this ugly shadow that's around the mask a quick fix to that is just bump down your mask opacity and if you like what you can do is you can just keyframe the mask path and just move it to adjust you can also do the same thing if there's a part that's glowing that you don't want draw a mask around there and just set it to subtract just like that and you can do the same exact thing now speaking of masking let me show you another method that not a lot of people utilize and i think it's a really great method for creating these line animations because you get some benefits that you can't do with this method so let me go ahead and just pre-compose this footage so that all of those adjustments are saved into one little area and we're going to go ahead and start creating a new mask so with this method i think it works best if you're selecting something in the scene that you can really kind of lock onto like for example i'm going to use this playstation controller and i'm going to draw a mask around it just like this and maybe it'll go around his hand as well all right cool so we have our mask it just makes the whole screen go black except for the mask to fix that let's click our m key on our layer and switch the mask to none and then let's go ahead and open our mask options so we are going to select it. Now what we can do here, I'm going to right click on my mask and I'm going to click track mask. And this is one of the reasons why I like this option because you can use this track mask method. So let's go ahead and click play for our tracker window that pops up and it's going to do an all right job. You may have to go in here, delete some of the keyframes, maybe readjust the mask every once in a while. It's always going to depend on your clip and then we can go ahead and track some more and then just adjust all right but that's looking good enough so we have our mask tracked on to a specific object that we want to animate now let's go ahead and create a new solid so right click down here go to new and then go to solid and we're going to click ok and if you want you can rename this to glow layer we're going to hide that for now and we're going to go to the beginning of our timeline select that mask click Control c and then go ahead and click on our new glow line layer and Control v to paste that mask onto there now we can go ahead and just delete the mask off our original composition and now we have it on this glow line layer so let's click m to show it as you can see all our keyframes were copied and pasted over so we still have that track from the original footage which is great now what we can do is let's go ahead and add a stroke effect onto there so go ahead and look up stroke under effects and presets and it's the generate one so drag that onto our glow line layer you can bring back the visibility of this and we can go ahead and change under the effect controls paint style from on original image to on transparent and it should show our original footage again now all you need to do here is let's go ahead and keyframe the end of this to just be zero so we're going to keyframe start and end we're going to move a bit and we're going to make the end 100 percent if i click off my mask you're going to see this tiny little white line is now drawn around our mask area that we selected go ahead and just up the brush size like that so it's easier to be seen and then you can mess around with any of these other settings if you would like and here's what we just did bam so cool little animation just drawn over there and then let's go ahead and do the same method let's go and add a glow onto there and drop it on our glow line layer now another benefit of doing it this way is one like i said the animation doesn't look as drawn it's more kind of like stuck to an object and two whenever you add effects onto this layer it's only going to affect the lines and not anything in the background so if i'm changing around the glow you're going to see that it's changing only the lines and nothing in the actual background so let's just make sure glow radius is kind of smaller and then glow intensity is something around like two you have some more nice animated lines just like that and those also stay in place from our track so that's pretty cool and of course you can easily just go back up to your stroke and change the color if you do want to something like that so you have some pretty cool options 
there's a bunch you can do but like i said the main reason why that video blew up why it's gaining so much attention is because the animation and the kind of fundamentals behind the animation are super on point so i'm going to link down below not only blotter media's instagram where you can check this out 100 follow them a bunch of other animator youtubers that i really enjoy go and binge and watch your videos let them know that i sent you learn a bunch about animation and it's really going to benefit you in creating cooler looking animations in the style or whatever style you want speaking of which if you do want me to create some adobe animate tutorials that's something i'm interested in i'm downloading that probably tonight so i can bring you guys some basic tutorials and maybe work our way up with some cooler stuff in the future i don't want this channel to just be set on one thing i really want to grow this channel in different branches whether it's 3d with cinema 4d or other programs premiere after effects tricks adobe animate but i'm also creating a bunch of camera tutorials directing tutorials behind the scenes stuff i'm taking away the limitations for what you're going to see here but guaranteed everything you see on this channel is going to help you in some way so anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe if you did thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later